nanobots. Saviors of the human race or our eventual destroyers. With great power comes great responsibility. And the maturation of nanotechnology promises to unleash the power over physical matter itself. In 1959, physicist Richard Feynman stood before a crowd at Caltech and posed a question that would change the course of science. What would happen if we could arrange atoms one by one the way we want them? The audience laughed. They thought he was joking. But Feynman wasn't kidding. He was predicting the future. A future that's now arriving at the doorstep of space exploration. A single gram of nanobots contains more individual machines than there are stars in our galaxy. Each one is programmed to manipulate matter at the atomic scale, working in perfect synchronization. These microscopic workers never sleep, never tire, and can transform raw materials into complex structures without human intervention. They could build entire cities on Mars, or if programmed incorrectly, reduce those same cities to dust in hours. They represent one of humanity's greatest chances for space colonization, and potentially its greatest threat. The technology that could save our species could also be the one that ends it. The question is, are we ready to play with atomic fire? The story of space exploration has always been one of overcoming impossible odds. From the Mercury program to the International Space Station, we've pushed the limits of what's possible. But now, nanotechnology promises to rewrite the rules entirely. Spacecraft hulls that heal themselves, just like human skin. Habitats on Mars built atom by atom from the planet's own soil. Swarms of microscopic robots exploring the oceans of Europa, searching for signs of life. This isn't science fiction. We are on the verge of these scenarios becoming reality. NASA's Dawn spacecraft, powered by ion engines using charged xenon atoms, has already visited multiple celestial bodies in a single mission, a feat impossible with conventional rockets. The secret? Nano-engineered components that can withstand the intense conditions of long-duration spaceflight. Meanwhile, researchers are developing carbon nanotube materials 200 times stronger than steel but lighter than plastic. These materials could revolutionize spacecraft design, making our vessels more resilient to the harsh environment of space, while dramatically reducing launch costs. Energy harvesting, always a challenge in space, is being transformed by nanoscale piezoelectric materials that can generate electricity from the tiniest vibrations. Soon, every movement of a spacecraft could help power its systems. But these advancements are just the beginning. As we stand on the brink of becoming a multi-planetary species, nanotechnology holds the key to unlocking the solar system's vast resources. The promise is clear. With nanotechnology, we could build self-sustaining colonies on Mars, mine asteroids for precious materials, and push the boundaries of human exploration further than ever before. The question is, are we ready for the power this technology offers? As research accelerates, the potential applications of nanotechnology in space seem limitless. Scientists are developing self-healing spacesuits embedded with bio-nano robots that can automatically seal punctures and administer medical care. These suits could make long-duration EVAs safer and more feasible, opening up new possibilities for space construction and exploration. CubeSats, already revolutionizing access to space, are being enhanced with nanoparticle sensors capable of detecting individual molecules. These miniature laboratories could analyze the composition of distant planets and moons with unprecedented accuracy, all at a fraction of the cost of traditional missions. Perhaps most exciting is the development of programmable matter swarms of nanobots that can assemble themselves into complex structures. You could launch a compact payload that unfolds into a fully functional space station, or transform Martian regolith into habitable shelters. 
this technology could dramatically reduce the mass we need to launch from Earth, making deep space missions more feasible than ever. Projections suggest that by 2040, the space-based nanotech market could exceed $100 billion annually. This surge of investment is driving innovation, with breakthroughs occurring almost weekly. But the same power that could unlock the solar system also carries risks we're only beginning to understand. Like Dr. Ian Malcolm said in the movie Jurassic Park. Yeah, but your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. The year is 2035. After years of development and smaller scale tests, humanity is about to witness a watershed moment in space exploration. A swarm of billions of nanobots, launched from Earth months earlier, has reached Mars orbit. Their mission, to construct the first permanent human habitat on another planet. As the world watches, the nanobots descend to the Martian surface. They begin to harvest the planet's regolith, breaking it down at the molecular level and reassembling it into complex structures. Walls rise from the red soil, intricate life support systems take place, and radiation shielding forms layer by layer. Within weeks, a fully functional base stands ready on Mars created entirely by microscopic machines, following pre-programmed instructions. It's a triumph of engineering and a testament to the power of nanotechnology. The cost, a fraction of what a traditional Mars mission would require. This achievement galvanizes the scientific community and captures the public imagination. Suddenly, the colonization of Mars seems not just possible, but imminent. Plans are drawn up for similar missions to the Moon, to the asteroid belt, even to the moons of Jupiter and Saturn. As celebrations erupt across Earth, there's a palpable sense that we stand at the dawn of a new era. Humanity is no longer bound to a single planet. The solar system, with all its resources and wonders, lies open before us. But amidst the euphoria, a few voices urge caution. If nanobots can build a city on Mars, they ask, what else might they be capable of? And can we truly control this power once it's unleashed? As nanotech's potential in space exploration becomes clear, the race to harness its power accelerates. Nations and corporations pour billions into research, each seeking to gain an edge in the new space economy. The promise of limitless resources from asteroid mining and the potential for off-world manufacturing drive a new space race. But with this power comes great risk. In 2040, a routine asteroid mining operation goes awry. A swarm of resource-harvesting nanobots malfunctions, replicating far beyond their programmed limits. Within hours, the target asteroid is reduced to a cloud of dust, its valuable minerals scattered and lost. This incident, while contained, sends shockwaves through the scientific community and the public. It's a stark reminder of the grey goo scenario long feared by nanotech experts. The possibility that self-replicating machines could run amok, consuming everything in their path. Debates rage across Earth. Some call for a moratorium on nanotech in space, arguing that the risks outweigh the benefits. Others push for accelerated development, claiming that only more advanced AI and control systems can prevent future incidents. The challenges of controlling billions of nanomachines across vast distances become painfully clear. How can we ensure that our creations will always obey our commands? What happens if they evolve beyond our understanding or control? As these questions loom, another concern emerges. If nanobots can transform entire planets, could they be used as weapons? The potential for nanotech arms races adds a new dimension to international tensions. The technology that promises to unlock the solar system could also be our undoing. The power to reshape worlds is within our grasp, but so too is the power to destroy them. As we grapple with the dual nature of nanotechnology in space, humanity finds itself at a critical juncture. The year is 2050, and our solar system is transformed. Nanobot-built habitats dot the surfaces of Mars and the Moon. Asteroid mining operations fuel a new era of abundance on Earth, 
Probes enhanced with nanotech explore the outer reaches of our cosmic neighborhood, sending back data that reshapes our understanding of the universe. Yet the shadow of potential catastrophe looms large. International treaties now govern the use of nanotechnology in space, but enforcement across the vast expanses between worlds proves challenging. Every new mission carries with it both promise and peril. Scientists work tirelessly to develop foolproof control systems. Quantum encryption promises unhackable communication with nanobot swarms. AI oversight programs evolve to predict and prevent potential grey goo scenarios. But as our creations grow more complex, the line between control and autonomy blurs. The power to shape worlds atom by atom is in our hands. With it comes a responsibility to wield that power wisely. As we look to the stars, we must remember that our greatest challenge isn't conquering space, it's mastering our own creations. As we stand on the threshold of becoming a true spacefaring civilization, nanotechnology represents both our greatest hope and our most profound challenge. The same microscopic machines that could build cities on Mars might also reduce those cities to dust. Our journey to the stars may not merely depend on our technological prowess, but on our wisdom in wielding it.